going on? Good morning. Sun's coming up. You guys can see. The sun comes up over them mountains every morning. I got the hummingbirds out here and the birds and the hummingbird uh, moths. <laughs> Which I'd never seen one until this year. <clears throat> but uh, just wanted to thank God this morning for today. Thank him for my life and and uh, praise his holy name and bless him. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Father. I sit out here on my porch and I talk to the Lord, you know, out loud. <clears throat> Sometimes real loud. <laughs> my neighbors probably think I'm really crazy. <laughs> yeah, I am, though. I'm radical. You know, radical Christianity, man. You can be radical for your, you know, root your father on. You know, we're at war here, man. And the uh, the prince always rooted his his king father on, and the the military always rooted for the king to win, you know. And <laughs> I'm rooting for the king to win, cause he already has won. <laughs> I just bless your name, Father. Bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father, for everything that I have and everything I don't have. Thank you for the things that we go through, cause it makes us stronger. <clears throat> it refines us and makes us more pure as long as we seek your face and we seek your will through it all, Father. We know that Romans 8, 28 is effect, is effective, that all good things shall come together for the good of those calling according to your purpose. And purpose is, and I bind every evil spirit from my house, from my neighborhood, in the name of Jesus. And I loose every pure and holy and praiseworthy thing and, and around my house, in my neighborhood. Bless these people, Lord. Bless them with your with knowledge of you. Holy Spirit, draw them in so that they might be free, truly free. In the name of Jesus, I pray these things. I pray for those, Lord that don't know you or that have known you and they've fallen away, Lord, I, I pray for them. I pray for mine enemies that would rather see me dead and pushing daisies than alive and pushing a rake or a, or a grinder or a, a welder. Lord, thank you, God. Bless them, Lord. Bless them with you. Even my enemies, bless them, Father. Let them truly see the light, truly see love and what love really is and let them taste what it is to truly be free and not worry about whether you're going to die or not. Not worried about where you're going to go. What's next after this life and if our kids are going to make it after we go and how our wife's going to make it and make all the bills, Lord. We know that you are our provider. You provide everything that we need, Father. Thank you, God. Hmm. You are our healer. We do not need man-made things. We should only have faith in you and trust in you, Father, to, to give us healing, complete healing. Though it be your will, Lord, maybe we have something that gives even more testimony that we may glorify our complete healing, that we may glorify you, Father, in it and through it. May your Holy Spirit live in us and through us. May it branch out and touch others so that they too may see you in this fallen world, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray these things. Hallelujah. Amen. Be blessed. God over everything. Jesus is king. Believe it. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're struggling with, if you'll just seek his face, get in the word, pray, ask him to show you. Lord, Lord, just show me. The Jeremiah 33, 3 says, call unto me and I'll show you great and mighty things you didn't know that you've never seen. There's another verse in the Bible that says that God can do more than we can ask or think of. Any, 
just think about it. Anything you can imagine, God can do greater things than you can imagine. He can do anything. All-powerful, all-knowing. He's everywhere at the same time. He knows what my thoughts are, your thoughts are. He knows what we're going to do before we do it. He knows we, sometimes we don't even know what we're going to do. We get in the vehicle and we take off and we're like, well, where am I going? God knows where you're going. You got to believe that way. You got to think that way. Present yourself before God as a as a as a child that's that's looking to its parent as, well, what? How do I do this or what do I do? Ask Him, Lord. Well, what do you want me to do next? What's my next steps, Lord? For I know that you know my every step before I take it. That's how you got to think. You got to believe and have faith like that. And even when you when 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 you you come across and conflict or or anything know that god has made or god has known that that was going to happen in hopes that we would take that situation and glorify god in it some way somehow <laughs> hmm. hallelujah He's our provider. He's our healer. He's our protector. I like the way a friend put it on the, a brother in Christ put it on YouTube. He says, uh, I, 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 can, I know, I remember Psalms 91 for 911. <laughs> Psalms 911. <laughs> I'll never forget that now, you know. And I've, I've, I've ran to Psalms 91, Psalms 71, 72 for, for when I was going through struggles and I didn't know how to feel and I didn't know how to, to act and I didn't know what to do, man. I run to God's word. I do it. You got to do it. It seems kind of weird. It seems kind of unbeneficial. But man, I'm telling you, there's power that you can't see. But you can ignite it. You can ignite that power by running to God. Run to his word. Run to him in prayer. In Jesus' name. Be blessed. God over everything. Jesus is king. Bye.